Okay guys, as promised, I'm gonna take you through my capsule wardrobe. This is everything that I have, plus what I'm wearing right now, and um, a dress here that I'm fixing the buttons on. So, um, and then I have four things up top, which we'll talk about when we're done. So I'm just gonna walk you through my closet. You can see exactly what I have and what I've been wearing. Um, and then if you have questions, you can ask me. Um, so my goal um, in my closet these days is to live as simply as possible, to wear things that I find really comfortable and flattering, and to thrift as much as possible or use what I already have. So I don't continually shop, like I don't even continually thrift. Um, I did pick up a couple things the other day, which we'll get to in a second, but um, this is everything that I wear. And um, so let's just go ahead and get started. My um, loft jean jacket that I've had for going on 10 years now, my dad bought it for me when I was on a furlough when we lived in Indonesia. I will keep it forever. I do need to figure out the elbows are finally ripping and I'm not sure what to do about that, but I'm not willing to give it up. I've had this Gap cardigan for four plus years, I believe. Um, it's an oatmeal color and I really love it. I don't wear it that often, but it's nice to grab if I'm going to church before lockdown um, and you know need something to throw on over. I thrifted this. So if you go back and see my highlights, um, before I took an extended Instagram break, right before lockdown, um, I went thrifting and everything at the place was a dollar or less. So I stocked up on some several new to me items that basically came to a total of $28, I believe. I have that saved in my highlights um, on under wardrobe or capsule wardrobe. So that's what I've been wearing all this time. Um, so just so you're aware, that's if I say I thrifted it, that's before lockdown and that's, um, so I thrifted this cardigan and this t-shirt it's just a regular old t-shirt I don't wear this one the t-shirt very often because um, it's a bit it's not all cotton and it's a bit hot which is funny because I wear long sleeves that this is probably my favorite top I thrifted this um, it wasn't on sale for a dollar less it was a bit more than that but I um, I, I believe I, I wrote I, I'm a nerd and I write down all the times that I wear my outfits Hang on, let me get it. And Sonia decorated it, but I've worn the white frilly top, as I call it, 32 times. <laughs> um, this one is a recent purchase. I took my daughter um, thrifting the other day, right before she leaves for college, which is next Tuesday, by the way. <laughs> um, but I found this little, it's just kind of like a nice boxy, linen-ish type of top and I got it for 50 cents so that one is a hit um, I got this linen top it is very baggy and it's I would say a little bit frumpy but I love this one and so if I'm not gonna see anybody or go anywhere I love to wear this with my little I have my one um, it's actually at my feet my one um, camisole that I wear under this with a skirt and I love this top Again, before lockdown, I got this um, kind of brownish organic cotton thrifted. Again, all of the ones that were thrifted before lockdown are a dollar or less, except the frilly one. Um, I love this one. I've worn it 15 times in the last three months. This one is the MVP. It's super wrinkly because it just came out of the wash, but um, I got this at Target last year, so this is not a thrift find, but I have worn this 16 times. So any day that it's cool, I wear this with one of my long skirts. I love this so much. <laughs> I And it, it still looks great. I roll up the sleeves and I absolutely love this top. Okay, so that is it for my tops, except for the one that I'm wearing. I also thrifted this one the other day um, with my daughter. So it's just a cap sleeve t-shirt and then this is my first skirt um it's it goes down sorry it goes down past my knees um I would love something a little bit longer than this denim skirt but it's very very thin and airy again something I th thrifted for a dollar 
um, and it's airy, so I've worn it a ton. I have worn this one 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25, 30, 35 times. <laughs> Um, and sometimes it won't add up. Like if you try to think, oh, well, there hasn't been, you know, 90 days or whatever. I mean, there has been 90 days, but if you try to think, but sometimes I'll need to change in the middle of the day because I get hot or sweaty or whatever. So this is one that I thrifted. It's a linen skirt. Obviously it's quite see-through. Um, it's, I'm not doing it justice right now. I have only worn this twice and I feel bad. <laughs> Because it's a gorgeous skirt, but it's a one size fits all and it has a like tie around the back and kind of a gathered elastic waistband and I just find that it's awkward to wear it. So I obviously wear a slip underneath it um, and I love the feel of it, but I don't love the fit of it. So once the tailors open up here in Uganda, I'll be taking this one and seeing if I can figure it out because I do really like it, especially with my white frilly top. I just, it's very bohemian, even though I'm not bohemian, but yeah, anyway. This is one of my most worn skirts. It's just a really long toile, I guess I would almost say. It has pockets. It's really thin material, like an all 100% cotton. Again, got this bird dollar before lockdown um, and I wear this one a lot with that white frilly top so I've worn this one 30 times <laughs> my second favorite skirt is this one it's a red skirt sorry that is not doing it justice let me put it properly hang on a second it's just a long red skirt and it also has pockets and it's a little bit thicker than the other one but um, the weight of it kind of like swishes and sways. It's like an A-line and I really love this one with my um, chambray shirt or with the white frilly top which is why those two get a lot of wears. So those are my two favorites. Um, and then I have this white linen skirt and it's got this really pretty ruffle down at the end. It's too big and it's like the top is almost like a, I don't know, like a maternity top or something, but it, I find that it like sags, especially because I have to wear a slip with it. So it kind of like works it way, its way down um, during the day. <laughs> so I don't, I don't wear that one very often. I think I've only worn it three or four times. So you can see my favorites and like what I'm holding on to and not sure if I'm going to keep which is okay, I pass things to my neighbors and if I've only paid a dollar for it, I don't mind letting it go, that's okay by me. Um, so that is something else. This is my all time favorite dress. It's a long olive green dress that is, it has faux buttons so you just kind of put it on over your top and I can wear it with this little, you know shirt or I can wear it with the white frilly top over it or I can just wear it by itself and I it's airy It's light. It's everything that I love about a dress Long so I don't have to worry and it's like the perfect weight of fabric. I'm sorry I am really sweaty because it is hot today then um, I have this max studio chambray dress that I got last summer um, at TJ Maxx, I believe um, I love this one. This one only gets really brought out. I don't wear this every day. This is for like church when I used to go to church. <laughs> Before lockdown, I still go to church. Um, or I wore this for like a graduation dinner for my daughter. Um, so that is more like a special dress. I don't find it comfortable to just wear every day. Oh, let's see. I have two more dresses to show you and then... Oh, three more dresses because the one that I'm still putting buttons on. I have this one from The Loft. It is knee length. I'm not sure how I feel about it modesty wise. I did wear it for my daughter's graduation. So I'm still a little on the fence, but um, I mean, it's not inappropriate or anything, but um, again, something for fancy. I would not wear this just every day. It's very um, classy and lovely, but I wouldn't just wear it every day. My last dress, well, second to last dress, is this loft one that I thrifted a while ago. You might have, you might have seen it several times because I like this dress a lot. I don't find that I wear this one as much. I'm really digging the long skirts. <laughs> so um, I still have it, and I still 
love the look of it. I just don't wear it very often. Then up top, I have my long Mika Rose um, maxi dress, which is blue, navy blue and floral, which you've probably seen. I have a long-sleeved gray um, dress from Annabelle that was sent to me by a lovely reader, uh, viewer, whatever you want to say, um, that I also love. It's just a little bit too hot to wear right now. Um, and then up there, I just have a, my long gap denim A-line skirt. Not denim. What did I say? Long black A-line skirt um, that I've had for like 10 years that I take and use like if we're going into the village and I don't want it to get dirty. And then my jeans that I don't really wear that often. <laughs> but I keep because my husband likes me to wear jeans. So um, that's it except for this dress. I thrifted this one back before lockdown. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's a like collared, beautiful, white, long dress. And actually I found some great wooden buttons that I am putting onto it. And I, by saying putting onto it means I haven't done it in two months. So I took off the black buttons that were on it and I'm still going to put on the wooden buttons. And I think the wooden buttons are gonna look really nice with it. So that is a plan, but it's fitted. It has a tie at the waist. I have to wear a slip through the whole thing, but I'm okay with that. I'm So I'm liking these white, airy, light, kind of breathable fabrics. So this one is like a, because a friend said, well, wow, you're really brave to wear white in Uganda because we have this red dirt. But this is almost like a slippy, it doesn't have any tags on it, so I can't tell what kind it is, but it's like a slippy kind of thing. Don't look at my fingernails, that's a conversation for another day. Um, so it doesn't like hold stains, like it almost like things just kind of slip off of it. So that's it, that is my wardrobe. And again, my whole goal is to be sustainable, spend as little money as possible, wear these things until they literally wear out. And so I would love it if you would keep me accountable. And each time I think like something wears out beyond repair, then I will let you know, and then I'll let you know if I'm bringing something else in. This should be everything, and I'm bringing nothing else in um, until further notice, until something like literally gives out and I have to replace it, which I hope is not my white frilly top because I love that top. Um, I really like this top too. So that is it. I'm trying to save money. We're trying to give as much money away as we possibly can because our neighbors are still struggling. Um, Uganda is in mostly lockdown still, slightly less slightly opening up, but we've heard that it might go back to full lockdown because cases in Africa have tripled in the last week since we've lightened up our lockdown. So, so we don't want to be spending money on clothing, which really doesn't matter for eternity. Um, I want to be spending money, resources on helping people. And also we're sending our daughter across the world for university um, in case you didn't know she graduated and we were meant to be there with her this summer but unfortunately we don't have a way to get back into the country right now and anyway all that to say we're sending her on a repatriation flight which means it's like a u.s embassy flight um, with some friends because that's the only way we can assure her to get out of the country so that's heavy, but then we'll also need some money for her to kind of set up her dorm room and get a few things. We did go thrifting last week, which is when I got this. She's so funny. She gets like oversized like Neymar jerseys. <laughs> um, I love her style. It's absolutely adorable. She has the cutest style on earth. So um, that's it. Uh, I'm making this into an IGTV because stories is just too difficult to try to fit everything in and then I get stressed because I'm trying to talk everything out. Don't worry, I will be back next week in stories to make sure we talk about summer ideas with your kids. Um, it doesn't matter what ages, we'll talk about toddlers, preschoolers, school age kids, we'll talk about all of it. Um, I am enjoying hearing from you guys, but I, just so you know, I have to take it slow on Instagram with everything going on in the world and everything going on here and everything going on with my health. <laughs> um, 
I can't dedicate too much time to answering messages. So if I don't answer you, it's not because I don't love you. It's because I'm just juggling a lot. And yeah, I'm just busy. Not too busy for you, but just trying to keep my mental health intact during all of this. How about that? Okay, so um, I hope this is like a fun, chatty video. I, I would love for you to ask questions. I will do my best to answer DMs as much as possible. Um, and I would also love to know, because this is going to post onto my feed, so I want to know in the comments, what is your take on capsule wardrobe, minimizing, all of those things? Um, let me just say one more time before I end. It's always for God's glory. It's not to own a certain amount of things, um, in my opinion. It's just to be content with what I have, be content with who God's made me to be, and not need the next thing to feel good about myself. Um, to honor and glorify the Lord um, in the way that I dress and in the way that I spend my money. You could be very different and I would never judge anybody else. This is just my story and I want to live with as little as I can. Um, not necessarily as little as I can, but spend as little as I can um, and be as content as I can so that I can give more away to others. Um, it's a perspective that I hold very dear to my heart and it's very important to me. Um, and so I'm not a fashionista. <laughs> I am not a person that you're going to go to to look for the newest style, but I do hope that we can work together to learn from each other and to glorify the Lord while we're learning how to be content with what we have. Have a great day and talk to me in the comments. I'll see you later. Bye.